What are you doing out here, Jerry? Orders? Yep. I told the chief I could handle it alone, but he said you should be in on it. Tony Marsh gang entered state near Tolar, working vicinity Coyote Pass. Bring him in, Mitchell. Oh, just like that. Bring him in. I have the darndest luck. No sooner I get a leave of absence, some outfit of bandits bust loose. You sure do. That reminds me of the time when I was down in Texas. I rounded up a gang of rustlers. Hey, I... Jerry. Tell it to me some other time. Let's go. Well, which way do we go, Tom? She said Coyote Pass. Well, let's look it over. That'll do, old timer. Stand right where you are. No use coming back. You got it all the first time. What's going on here? Ain't you bandits? We're officers. Uh -huh. Sure. I'm Jerry McLean. I'm the fellow that kept it. Jerry. Stick up. Not five minutes ago. I had just sold my stock. I had nearly a thousand dollars. How many of them? Three. One of them lay across the road, and when I stopped to help Describe him. Describe them, men and horses. The leader was about your size with a green shirt, a brown velour hat. Now, he'd look like you if he had a shave. Hmm. One of those bronks has a split frog on the off hind foot. All right, stranger. With a break of luck, we'll get that wallet of yours. Oh, thank you, officers. I sure need it. Which way did they go? They went off that way. Don't worry, we'll get him. I guess this is a safe enough place to split the roll. Listen, men. I got a letter from my dad. So what? I'm going home after this job. You're gonna go straight, huh? Yep. My dad and sis don't know I took to the road. The old man writes, he needs help. Something wrong with the neighbors. Still with him, Jerry. Good. But go easy now and be ready for trouble. There's gold in that place, and nobody knows where it is but me. Huh. Well, you can have it. Why dig it out of the ground when it's so easy to go out and pick it out of folks' pockets? We could dig a week and not get half of what we just took. Someone coming. We get separated, we meet a giant rock. There's our game, Jerry.
It's no use. It's no use. I'm finished. Don't. Don't. Don't let my folks know about this. Don't. Don't let them know I, I was mixed up with crooks, will you? Don't let them know. Who are your folks? The Grangers. The Grangers. Our Peckles. Our Peckles. Look, Tom. Looks just like you. You could be mistaken for his twin brother. Hmm. He does look kind of like me. Kind of like you? Poor fella. See if he's got anything to identify him. This may help. Them Lawhound got Jack. Maybe. We'd better wait here, just in case he gave them the slip. Yeah, they can't sneak up on us up here. We can see them coming a mile away. Maybe if I look so much like this hombre, I can walk up on his pals. Take your shirt off. I'm coming. Jack, all right. What's he hunting the trail for? He knew we'd come up here. Maybe he's lost his bearings. I... Up here! We got to have you when your bronc stumbled. Yeah. You notice you didn't wait to see if I was taken. It's every man for himself in this game. You'd have got caught. No need of all of us going to the jug. Sounds reasonable. But you're all going now. Up with them. I'll quit your kidding, Jack. We got to be on our way. Did you throw that to the law, Jack Granger? Jack Granger is dead. I am Tom Wade of the Protective. Get aboard that horse. Now get on that horse. Yes, sir. <laughs> 